Hey, what's up? This is Tom Froming from TwinsDaily.com. Uh, it is the most wonderful time of the year, Prospect Handbook time. The Twins Prospect Handbook for 2019 it just became available recently. I'm going to put some links down in the description below of where you can uh, pick that up. Uh, but we're going to be talking about one of the prospects in the handbook today who's new to the system, Joan Duran. Uh, but before we get into that, I just wanted to uh, give you a look at you know, what you can expect. The 2019 version is so new, I don't have a copy yet. Uh, but this is the 2018 version. It's available in paperback, obviously, but also PDF. Uh, so you can access that PDF right away. The paperback, you have to wait to ship. Uh, but, you know, it's a really neat thing. Obviously, it's got profiles on all the players, over 160 players in there. And it's just a cool thing if you're going to Twins Fest, if you're going down to spring training, uh, get it autographed. You know, maybe you're going to go down to Pensacola to check out the new affiliate down there. Uh, the Twins AA affiliate changed this year, and it's now going to be in Pensacola, Florida, uh, which looks like a beautiful place to go visit. So uh, pick up a copy, you know, support the project. Seth Stowes and Cody Christie and I put a lot of work into it. So again, both the uh, paperback and PDF links will be down in the description, but let's go ahead and talk about Joan Duran. Say Caballero second baseman for the Cougars in the first pitch tonight a fastball strike one at 94 miles an hour and we all right you just heard that that was a 94 mile per hour fastball to lead it off he ended up hitting 96 in this start which is pretty notable because this was on August 24th so this was Duran's second to last uh, start of the season uh, so this was uh, he'd already eclipsed a career high in innings pitched at this point this is kind of a point in the season where you'd kind of expect a guy to be tailing off here and yet here he is pumping 94-96. Underway from Wisconsin when he struck out nine and walked none. Swing and a miss. There's a strikeout right on cue. His first this evening. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Fastball to tall right-hander. Next pitch. Strike three call. Is there a few nice... Uh, third strikes there from Duran. Uh, we're going to take a look a little bit more at how he's setting up batters and, and a few other at-bats moving forward. But one thing I want to mention is uh, Duran came over from Arizona in the Eduardo Escobar trade, and this team he's facing in the start, the Kane County Cougars, is who he was with prior to that trade. So the fact that he's dominating these guys who really should have a book on him, if anybody, uh, gives you a good indication of how he had his stuff working that day. Right on the outside edge. Catches on the mound for Cedar Rapids. He delivers a fastball to Holmes. Strike 23, 24 games. Holmes batting 159. Breaking ball from Duran, a good one. Hasn't thrown a ton of them tonight. Very astute observation right there. Uh, you heard that Duran had really not really thrown many breaking pitches up to this point. He was really working with the fastball early on. And then it was like the second time through the order he started to use everything and just started destroying dudes. Next pitch from the right-hander, Duran. Breaking ball, one ball and two strikes on Holmes. The pitch from Duran. Swing and a miss. Heavy dose of breaking ball there in that at-bat. He gets Holmes swinging and Jan Sanchez. Ron delivers, fouled back and out of play. Extra innings at Wrigley Field. Ron's pitch, swing and a miss. David Bodie, a former King County Cougar. The 2 swing and a miss. Down goes at home against Pittsburgh. They lead the Pirates 4-2. Just want to pause real quick and point out that's a first pitch ball. A lot of these other at-bats... Duran was working ahead in the count, so I was very curious to see here what he was going to do after falling behind. And this next pitch he throws is probably my favorite pitch of the whole outing. Royal Jan Sanchez, the batter. Colonels lead here, one nothing over Keene County. Sanchez takes a breaking ball. For... Boom. So not only has Duran started to throw the breaking ball, he's getting it over for strikes when he's behind in the count. That's when the Cougars got into big trouble, and from here on, he really makes guys look silly. Downstairs, check swing, yes. Sanchez went around. Balls throws Dodgers and Padres, Rangers, and Giants. Swing. 
swing and a miss on a ball in the dirt. Ball pops loose. Jeffers throws to first. A pitch. Swing and a miss. Goes off speed. Ramos down on strikes. That's the second thrill. The runs pitch. Herrera showed bunt. And takes a strike. Over. Here's the 0-1 to Herrera. Swing and a miss. The 0-2, breaking ball, got him looking, strike three call. Fielder's choice and struck out. Pitch from the tall right-hander is swung on and missed. Will be the pitch, swing and a miss. Ready and the right-hander fires, swung on and missed. Seven. The run delivers. Do you see that? It looked like that kid saw a ghost or something. What was that? Let's take a look at that again. Right call. Two thirds scoreless inning outing in relief. Duran's pitch. Swing fouled away. Five innings. A couple of former colonels there. Inside. Now two and two on. Duran, the leg kick, and the pitch home. Upstairs, it's a full count. Full count on Sanchez. One gone in the seventh, the pair. Look at that, it's like his back foot new. Let's just start heading back to the dugout. Swing and a miss, strike three. That is strikeout number ten. A season best for Joan Duran. And make note of the score, too. One to nothing. They needed every bit of this performance. It's not like Cedar Rapids was up 10 runs and these kids were just wanting to go home or something. Uh, so dominant outing uh, by Duran here. Let's take one more look at the uh, little back kick. Uh, the foot new. Let's just go to the dugout. And the Colonels. Okay, here it is. Moonwalk. And that's the best contact he made all game. So there it is. That was... Uh, just some insight into a Joan Duran start. He's a guy who's new to the twin system. Not a lot of Twins fans, even the prospect Mavens, uh, probably got a lot of opportunities to, to hear about him or see him pitch after he came over in that Eduardo Escobar trade. Uh, but if you want to know more, the guy's obviously fun to watch. I had a good time watching him, <laughs> as you probably could tell. Uh, but if you want to know more about Duran and 160 or so other Twins prospects, again, go ahead and check out the Twins Prospect Handbook. Uh, this is the 11th year that Seth Stowes has put that together. A very impressive run for him, and it uh, just keeps getting better and better. It's really cool to be a part of it. Uh, he deserves to be uh, all the success in the world from the project, so please go support that. Uh, and again, just check it out. There's tons of information if you want to know more about Duran. Tons in the book. Uh, see uh, the scouting reports, background, uh, recap of how he performed in 2018, and then multiple prospect lists of where he's ranked. So... Thanks for checking this out. Again, this has been Tom Froming from twinsdaily.com slash the prospect handbook. Have a good one.